Hello there, this is episode 16 for Hadrian, our berserker, for yes. Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. This is a hardcore, insane difficulty run. And, um, well, I, it is still a hardcore run, but I realized last time you can't actually save when you're in the Ducal Palace, so I had to... I had to reload just right outside of it, so you, that's why you saw my guys walking right in. So just want to be transparent about that. Um, uh, yeah, so also, to be transparent, I managed to do the same thing as I did on my Boulder's Gate video, where I recorded my live footage, it was great, I really liked it, and then all of a sudden... After I'm after I recorded it and loaded it up into my editor, I realized my voice wasn't going, so I was on the wrong microphone, and so that sucked. It really, really sucked because I had a really good hot take. But regardless, it's either gonna be him or me, folks. It's either gonna be Hadrian or Saravok. This is gonna end one way or the other. I, this video is gonna be very, very, very short, or it'll be a nice, healthy video. So, let's go do some prep work. First big thing I wanna do is I want to do buffs on all my characters, right? <laughs> More pre-battle buffs, I think, than just about any other situation. Um, I feel like, I'm gonna be weird in saying this, but I really do feel like this is one of the hardest fights in the game. This, is, this probably is the hardest fight in the game. Because you have the added level of protection. You have to... It's it's kind of like... A little bit like an escort mission. Right? And I only got one shot at this. So I'm like, okay, well... What what can I do in order to make sure I get there? And when still thinks we're just starting on the road... That's precious, Emwyn. You're wrong. Let's get the obvious spells out of the way. Adding in some illusion spells to mix things up, which is good. And hey, I gotta use my scrolls. <laughs> um, gotta use my scrolls with anything, right? I know scrolls. When you cast with scrolls, I don't think it's as potent as if you cast like from memorized, right? Like if Edwin casts a spell, he's also adding in his level to it. Um, Whereas if he casts a spell from a scroll, it's basically similar to, or cast at a level one ability. Unless you're wondering, I am not sending Emma Wynn upstairs. I am sending her, well, I mean, up the stairs, but she's gonna take a vantage point up here. Uh, and ideally I'll just, I don't have to use, uh, I want to keep her, Invisible or at least stealth, right? Because the last thing I need is I need for a uh, some monstrosity to come and whack her from behind. That would suck. So, um, still getting ready. I have a particular battle plan. So my battle plan is this. First off, once I'm done with all my buffs, then I'm going to move Kagan and the Skellies in kind of to the middle of the mob. Um, I'm going to make sure that Edwin casts uh, the Resilient Sphere on Belt. And it's on Belt because I don't trust him to be able to survive. Um, that and I, I... For some reason I heard somewhere that if he doesn't survive, you definitely won't survive. Like, the game basically codes it that it counts as not as not allowing you to... Uh, basically, it counts it as if nobody is there to receive your evidence and you basically die. Once Belt dies. Um, I don't know if that's the case, but the big thing is I really need to get the spear off. Otherwise, I'm going to do the best I can, but that's going to be a short run. Uh, and that would suck. Royally suck. Um, but, uh, once I get the sphere on, um, on belt, 
then we will, yeah, I'm just going to cast it right away. We're going to skim through these. I go through these with uh, the story run. You should totally check out my first story run. And I'll probably do something similar when I uh, have Gideon go through it. Okay, yeah. Have her hide. Okay. And I, I, I have the last of my dispelling arrows. You cannot win this fight. Send the skellies in. Do it yet. And I got him. Okay. And that's a save minus four. So there's a good chance that you'll get it. But this means that the only people I need to worry about is my party. Right? And just taking out the goons. So. Flame strike. Always nice. Okay. I am not doing any cuts or anything like that. I'm not speeding anything up. I want to get as realistic as possible. If I die, I want to figure out how exactly I die. If I win, I want to figure out how exactly I win. Yeah, why not go berserk, right? Yeah. These uh, doppelgangers are hastened and blurred. And SES adds the component of... I'm taking a beating. SES adds a component of, um... Well, there goes one. SES adds a component of, uh... Having three of them be normal dudes. Um, one be an assassin. And one be, uh, one be a shaman. And one be a mage. So... There's a lot of spells being cast. Yeah, that potion's not doing them much. I would say these poor flaming fist soldiers, but like, come on, they're mercenaries. They're not they're not important. I don't even think they have name tags. Yeah. Uh I hope this doesn't screw me over. Yeah, I've got another one. And we've cornered the assassin, so uh no more backstabbing. That's good. Where's uh Where's Viconia? Oh, okay, good. Okay, in retrospect, I should not have brought this mage in. Yeah, because this mage... He's going to hit a lot, and he's going to hit fast, so... See if I can try dispelling his magic, but yeah, bring him on in. Very well. Ow. Melf's uh, minute meteors is an awesome spell. And it looks like we're okay. As long as he doesn't keep casting fireball on himself, well, he doesn't. He doesn't get hurt by it because he has glow of vulnerability up. And now we're slowed down. Did he put my guys to sleep? But he can't move, so let's try using arrow dispelling. Only one or two, though. And my berserker rage has ended. I got one potion left, and I have no healing. I think my ogres pretty much have him, but it'll make my job a little easier for him. Unless I miss. I didn't miss there. I cast horror. Into the flames we leap. And I missed there. 
I'm not surprised by that. He He's going to be tough to hit with arrows because he's got blur up. I might as well take care of these gnolls and hide these gems away. I got a diamond, so that should solve a few of my money problems. Ah, Leah, you're there. Nice. Oh, yeah. He could probably use Magic Missile, too. <laughs> What's the concept? Okay. It's done. All right. Oh, yeah. Talk to... Not sure who you're talking to, but clearly it's not somebody who you should be talking to. Ooh, okay. Again. Yeah, not you, Kagan. Keep you away. Send the monsters in. Uh, Kagan? Why don't you move away, buddy? You only got 14 HP. You are gonna be... Dwarf Stew, if you try going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. We got... Yes. I got no problem throwing stuff at him. Oh, there's another Flaming Fist. Odd Lizard Man joins in for absolutely nothing. Oh, you're talking to Viconia. That's not healthy. <laughs> and when hanging out in the back. She is here to undo traps. It's done. Alright, so. Let's. Uh, Kagan is not in a good way. Let's let's get some cash and try to see if I can get some, you know, just sell everything. I want to keep Spider's Bane as a, as like um, something I can swap into if need be. If I get slowed or something, I just pop that on. Um, am I gonna really use these? Am I really gonna use these? No, every little bit counts. It's an awesome dagger, but none of my guys are going to use it. Okay. Let's see. Definitely want more arrows at Dispelling. Pretty penny, but it's worth it. Let's see if there's anything else... Oh, well, he potions of healing, at least. I'm in a big fight where it's not going to mean much at all, but at least if I can have somebody sit back and chug a couple of potions um, to recover, that can recover them like 16 or like 24 hit points or something like that, really small amounts, I'll, I'll take that, right? All right, now let's sell every spell that I don't intend on using. I should have sold Cloud Kill because I'm not going to use that. It's too it's too risky to use in in the midst of this fight, and it doesn't really impact the characters I'm fighting against. But it's a pretty good spell. Yeah, sell all of this. I wish I could cast Detect Invis Invisibility. But I can't. Yeah. It's nice to have all these collected spells here, like in case of I mean, in case of all sorts of 
you know, money loss situations. Yeah, this can be cast on somebody else, so I could cast that on like MON or Viconia or something like that. Alright, with that I have a little more. This is actually not a bad one to get. Oils of Speed are also really good too, but I think I just I think I also double down on these arrows of dispelling. They're just such a lifesaver. Especially in this last fight where everybody puts up these magical defenses. Let's level MON up. All into uh, fine traps. And single weapon style is fine. I thought about doing like move silently or, or, or set traps. Because setting traps is actually very good for the last fight. But oddly enough, so the last fight... I'm going to feel weird saying this, is that the last fight, I feel like, is simpler than the fight we just went through. The fight we just went through is, I feel like it's it's significantly harder, right? There is the added fact, and I'm going to sound brutal saying this, but the only one who's important in the final fight is me. Is Hadrian. I would love it if everybody survived. Well, okay, I... I got a couple of characters I just don't care much about um, in the long run. Um, I would love it if Emwyn survived because that would make sense with the story. Um, I'm just hoping she doesn't get chunked, right? Uh, not that it means anything because she's going to recover just fine in the whatever sequels. Uh, Siege, of, Siege of Dragonspear and uh, Shadows of Om. But she... That's gonna take a long ass time. I might as well just go to a temple to heal him. It's done. Yes. But I um It's done. But regarding the final fight, it's a lot simpler and it's a lot uh, clear with the objective and the tactics I feel like are going to be easier too because I don't have um, a whole bunch of uh, innocents running around um, who want to kill me so that means I can go summon crazy I can go explosion crazy um, lots of dispels By the way, I am happy to see that the happy to see that the um, the the skippiness has resolved itself. All it took was me just adjusting my uh, OBS to actually uh, record these videos on 30 FC FPS, well. which just makes it run so much smoother than trying to run it on 60 FPS. So, oh, wrong button. Healing, healing. There you go. Look, the game is not janky anymore. The player is. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't think. It's done. If they had potions of uh, greater healing, Very well. that would be great. Pun completely intended. Sorry, knock my mic. So now we go back and we do the it's done. do the maze. It's a bit sad because the maze is actually very it, it's it's. On one hand, it's very simple, especially when you know the route. It's um, but on the other hand, other hand, it 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 looks cool and it's kind of very stark design. Should have grabbed that magical armor and sold it, but can violate a stiletto. It's a good Slovak name. You're a queer 
No. No, it's not. That was a joke. That was a joke. All right. Protection from the undead. One for me and one for well. stepsister. Uh, spoiler alert, she's your stepsister for a God knows how long game. <laughs> it's you don't uncover that in Baldur's Gate 1. You uncover it in Baldur's Gate 2. These guys are one hits for me. I might as well not complicate everything. It's done. I think, okay, so controversial thought. Yes. I think if they were to do an adaptation of well. Baldur's Gate, you could totally make Emwyn a... I mean, you're kind of making her a main character, but, like, put her on the same level as whoever you choose as Gorion's ward. Um, the darkness here is interminable. I just feel like that would be a lot... First off, it, it, it kind of, you know, stresses the importance of, of her character, right? Um, her starting as being this kind of, like, happy-go-lucky kiddo who... You know, picks pockets and and you know, gets funny stories from uh, what's his face uh, Winthrop, to like, oh my gosh, all the crap that she goes through with Baldur's Gate Shadows of Om, right? Um, it's done. So I think it's I think it's um, I think having that as her as her character would be kind of cool. Uh, having her as a major, major character is actually kind of cool, right? It's character development um, to grow into a complete badass. And putting her on the same level as Gorion's Ward and having it about those two, I think is kind of cool. And we were able to rest, thank God. I'm pretty sure, like, what I just said is kind of pretty obvious, right, about Emwyn. Um, battle horrors. Yeah, I'm pretty sure what I said about M1 is pretty obvious to a lot of folks who have played this game. But there are some folks who are like, don't include her in the story at all. She's just a little kid. It's like, n not really a little kid. Ow. Let's, let's, let's help. Ow. Ow. I got an ouchie. Do I want to say, uh, just cast little spells. No, no. I can cast a little one on myself, too. Like, if you read the novelization of Baldur's Gate, which I don't encourage you to do, because it's bad. It's really bad. I read it when I was on vacation when I was a kid, and I was like... Even then, I was like, this is not a character. Like, the character that they created for the main story was just unlikable. Um, but he completely ignored Emma in the first one. Which, I mean, a lot of players do. So I don't want to say that it's... I don't need to die here. Come on, there we go. Okay. He should be able to regenerate a bunch of more through. But, um... But yeah, they made him so unlikable that I feel like if he just included Emowyn in the first story, then she would have, um... She could have made a much better impact on the... Uh, on that story. And these skellies are not going to attack because I use protection from the undead. And I'll just send Hadrian in afterwards because he also has protection from the undead. So no more fights in this maze. Yay! It's done. Uh, maybe I should like. Throw axes at them. 
Or now I can charge it. By the pits of hell. I don't think there's any more traps. Yep. Okay, now here's the wildest thing, right? Yes. How is... So, he's hucking axes, right? He did 6 and 7 missile damage to the skeletons. Whereas, if it's a normal skeleton, he'd only be doing 1 damage. Skeleton warriors are complete badasses. Like, they do... They hit, like, trucks. But... But... Can they take a hit? Well, I mean, clearly they're taking several hits down below, but... Alright. An extra arrow of dispelling. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Woot for the win. Alright. Continue down the maze. I feel like I could have just sent Hadrian to clear to like walk through the maze and then had everybody kind of like follow behind and catch up with him but now we're sticking together even though i got the even though i got the traps thing going on i don't remember i'm 90 percent positive this is the right way I remember I had one time where I played through this and I was almost positive that I was going the right way. And it turns out I just made a wrong turn somewhere. I ran into a bunch of traps. It sucked. So I want to make sure, since this is a no reload version, I want to make sure that I am indeed going the right way. I'm pretty sure that is the correct way. And if it is, then those are not where traps are. The toad will croak again. Yes. <laughs> I'm gone. What what nationality would you say that Edwin is doing? I mean, it sounds Eastern European of yes. some kind. I always kind of thought it's similar to like minks and dinah hair, but they come from two different areas of the world, right? Like, I, I don't know the geography of Thay versus Rashomon, but yep. I've done had enough of this. <laughs> but this is kind of it's kind of inquiring minds are looking to know, right? It's done. Yep, this way. Where are the traps? It's done. I've done had enough of this. If we're all going to get hit by a fireball, we will all get Very hit by well. a fireball. <laughs> that's scared. terrible logic. In Baldur's Gate, that's terrible logic. Just have your thief get hit by the fireball for failing to do their duty. It's done. Yep. This way. Very well. This way. Very well. Okay, that should be everything. Alrighty. We are just about done. We'll chat with the Master of Rituals. And that is something that is actually pretty much lacking in the Baldur's Gate in the Baldur's Gate games is like ritual spells, right? You would think that if you're a wizard, excuse me, if you think if you're a wizard, you would have a few rituals that you cast at like the beginning of the day to give you protections for the entire day. Um, and I can't imagine the game didn't end up, or that Dungeons and Dragons doesn't have those. But... There 
is what we're looking for. Now, yes. I can go straight down the avenue, fight against the uh, Iron Throne dudes, and get a bunch of stuff that I don't need. Or I can go this way. Protect my beautiful behind. And for Hadrian, it is beautiful. The man has 18 charisma. Sure. Oh, that's right. They're not targeting me. I didn't realize this at the time, but they're not targeting me at all. Oh, Edwin. You gotta level up, buddy. And you can cast more spells. I don't know why he's got that extra level one spell. Not complaining. I'm just not sure why he's got it. Slow is pretty good. And then... Yeah, being immune to first, second, and third level spells... I saw one uh, review of a oh, weapon guide that was like, darts are amazing. And, like, I guess if you can throw them fast and if you have a good Thacko, they could be pretty good. They're excellent at disrupting mages. I get that. But, like... Oh, because they're ignoring me. <laughs> Crap. Oh, yeah. That was... Come on. Like, I'm tearing through them, which is great, but... By the pits of hell. And there. Edwin, don't be an idiot. See? One damage. One damage done by this, uh, done by, um, Kagan and his throwing axe. A skeleton warrior would have taken half of it. I guess they wanted to level out the uh, the skeleton versus the skeleton warrior, but no, no. Okay, so using one of my last berserks because I don't want to get stunned. Which, in retrospect, was stupid because they're ignoring me. Gold that is completely useless at this point of the game. Oh, I can identify. That's weird. I guess I won't complain, but... Use those three bullets well. Make them count, my dear. No, Shark Teal. She got better aim. Very well. Yes. Alright, there it's is done. magic armor up here, I believe. Yeah. Not not very good armor, but it's gonna be better than whatever uh it's gonna be better than whatever um Whatever Chartiel is currently wearing. I should have sold that lightning bolt. Oh, Emma Wynn's not wearing any armor. Very well. She hasn't really needed to. She hasn't really been in combat. Alright. Tomiko. Okay, so here's the option. I can fight her and get her armor. But she's incredibly tough. And she's she's a cleric. Very, very powerful. Or I can be merciful and just let her go. And obviously, as you just saw, I'm doing that.
I wonder who that is. All right. Very well. Oh, you guys want a boogie? Okay. Oh, got hit by the uh, end of my berserk. It actually looks like my um. It's done. It looks like my protection from the undead went away. So, hopefully, well, battle horrors aren't coded as undead. All right. This music just doesn't go away. I think I just, I, I tried to decide at this point, do I just go for it or not and see if I can do this. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. I'm, I mean, it's, it's go time at this point. It's either him or me. Yeah. Me with my army of summons, because why the heck not, right? Yeah. Yep. Lots and lots and lots of summons. I think casting invisibility on Emowyn is going to be really, really smart. Because if something terrible happens and she needs to backstab... If she needs to backstab, we are in serious trouble. Okay. Yeah, actually I want to start with those arrows of dispelling and knock out any magical defenses that they have. Um, and raise up yes. our emotions. Very well. All right. Oh, we already hasted everybody. Very well. Should have had Viconia cast some spells on me. Might as well start this off the right way. Let's boogie. And now you're at normal speed like the rest of us. Enjoy. Boys, I need you to stop. You, M1. You, you. <laughs> I can hear my voice as I as I'm re-recording this. I can hear my voice. You, 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 and you. Ah, uh, Hadrian. Yep. Cast your spells and utter. Up. Oh. Volunteer. Don't want to waste all of my spells on him. Problem is he's got that magical protection up, so I'm not sure what spells would actually get through. I 
Uh, looks like somebody's coming around the bend. Might as well start blasting. In retrospect, I should have probably just moved everybody up and started blasting Diamond. But I didn't think to do that. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Come on. More monsters. You didn't know, it's an air elemental. Probably. Uh, those monsters are all about to die. That was silly of uh, Chartiel. Oh, really? Oh, that was a thing. Let's see the damage. Yeah. Chartiel? This is this is my complication with uh <laughs> with uh arrows of fire or arrows of explosions. Oh, yeah, she's goner. Well, the ele air elemental is dead. That's good. Everyone leveled up, I guess. Predictable ploy. Yes, killing your goons. That was my predictable ploy. How about we move Edwin and Emowyn down, like, the end, so they're not in the middle of combat. Viconia does all... Oh, nice! That's... Yeah. We don't need to target that. Definitely target. Oh, uh, those are going down. More monsters! It's done. Olsa? It's done. Hmm. You can head down too. Yes. I'll tell you, these uh, arrows of dispelling. Totally saving my backside. She's just gonna hit magical. Yeah, she just did magical resistance. It's done. Yeah. Really need to make sure I watch where I'm gonna fire. Maybe I can convince this ogre to not do something stupid like attack Viconia. Why? Why? Hey, Drew, why would you do that? Spook him at least. Um. That. I guess, um. Buy monsters. Might as well. Just do as much damage as possible. In retrospect, he probably should have cast Mirror Image. He didn't. Oh, really? That close, huh? Uh, goodbye, Edwin. Uh, 
she needs to heal up. How about we... What do I do? What do I do? No, I can't use it against him. He's got magic resistance. Acid arrow, I can at least use that to pepper this guy. Might as well take out this skeleton warrior. And berserk. Yeah, we're gonna do whatever we can. Come on, buddy. There we go. Should have just should just gone for it. I am getting hit hard. Maybe I can heal him. really good heal. Serbok is slowed down it's done. and he is injured. There's a still a chance I have in this fight. You're a queer fellow. I just need to make sure that I use it smartly. Do I have any... A lot of these things could have helped me out at this point, and I didn't think to grab them. Like... Like, I don't need charisma, so the extra ring could have been nice. Um... Ah, there we go. Potion of extra healing. Nice. Let's take that, like, now. Probably should have drank the uh, potion of speed, but I didn't. Also, probably should have cast Bless. But actually, let's have her use other things besides. So I have so many magic arrows too, I could have given them to her as well. Yeah, I might as well use. He's not casting spells, so I might as well use. Um, uh, oil, of, oil of speed over. Um, Still hits like a Mack truck. It's done. She should just keep using. It's done. If I can keep my distance for a little bit while I heal up, and then the that shouldn't be hard. Very well. Oh. That's bad. Stand us. Them down. You're a queer fellow. What you want? I've done had enough. He's near death. I should be able to knock him out at this point. I could use a vampiric touch on him. Drunks Elementals? I have no idea what that is, but I did 12 damage to him. Not a lot, though. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him is probably not the wisest idea. I'm trying to see if anybody has any larger healing potions. Very well. He's going to kill me if I stay in combat with him. You cannot win. It's done. Yep. I'm a win-run. 
pits of hell. Yes. Nope. I was like trying to see if she could like just cast off it. Alright, alright. We're playing the distance game. How every single run of my runs starts. Kiting. Gotcha, son! Yeah! That's it, everybody. Oh, God. Even re-watching it, I'm getting chills. This is amazing. So, should to, should tell y'all, we're not see, doing Siege of Dragonspear. We're going straight into Baldur's Gate 2. I will do Siege of Dragonspear sometime later, but I'm not doing it with this run. Um, I'm gonna import Hadrian into Baldur's Gate 2, and when you see him next, you'll see him in a very, very dark and very cramped place. So, ah, <sighs> feels so good to finally get to Baldur's Gate 2. Ah, about time. Okay, so, as you watch this lovely depiction of Saravok's fine material being sent back to his daddy, uh, I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Uh, and we will be back tomorrow with the start of Baldur's Gate 2. Or maybe later on this week. I haven't fully decided. But we'll see if we'll be able to start it right away. But with that, take care and good luck. We're all counting on you.